Hey guys, the Explicit Rider here. So I just wanted to make this video because I haven't made one in ages and I promise you guys I'd be getting videos but I just wanted to let you know there's been so much shit going on. Um, anyways, so this will just be kind of a big rant on what the deal is with this. Because um, I'm new to this, I'm using at the moment the GoPro and you can't, well you can but you got to buy those attachments to plug in this recording shit like the external mic and stuff like that, so it could not be bothered. I, anyways, I ordered a Drift HD, and that should be arriving in a couple of weeks, so I'll, pro, I'll be able to get a few, you know, a couple of videos up a week. Now, as you can see, I've got a Ninja 300 now, and in all my other videos, I got a Ninja 250R. So yeah, I decided I was going to sell that, because I'm not going to be getting upgrading for a couple of years, you know, I don't have the money and stuff like that, so I figured get something that's a bit safer and just better for longer rides as I do a few long rides to visit my family every now and then and just you know something more economical and nicer so this is my first proper new bike and I just oh man it's just I'm just loving it at the moment I'm in the braking period um, so I can't get it past 4000 revs which is a bit of a joke <laughs> Because basically the power starts around 7,000, that's where the power band starts, so I'm not sure. Um, I haven't even gone it that far up. So I'm trying to be as, you know, I've only got about 100Ks as I'm recording this video. So, anyway, I decided to do a ride. It's super quiet, my old bike at the MGP Growler, so it's a bit of a change. But man, it pulls. I mean, it just, it's only 10 horsepower difference. But as you can see here, I'm not going past 4,000 revs, I'm just going through the gears and it just pulls, it just pulls from about 3,000 revs for a fight in the fourth and uh, fifth gears and they've actually extended the sixth gear a fair bit uh, so the sixth gear is much longer so you'll notice a big ass drop in the rev meter in the revs as you change from fifth to sixth but that means that when you're cruising you know, on the highway and you're going about freaking 110 you're sitting on around 7,000 revs um, so, and it's still got plenty of power. The bike weighs exactly the same so as 250R, just got a few enhancements. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to do a proper review of my bike in another video. Um, I just wanted to do, you know, my impressions on the Ninja 300 because this is... I mean, yeah, that's the first thing because it's fuel injected now. You notice an immediate throttle response, which... Uh, well, the 250R is carburetted, so you know you have to warm it up, and even when you're going, even when it's warmed up, it doesn't pull straight away. It only pulls at about 5,000 revs, which you know means you always have to work on it, work on it, and know what gear you're in, drop gears. I have not had to drop the gear on this bike to you know keep up with traffic and to pass any cars. It just absolutely, it's yes. You know, I'm really impressed. I've, now I gotta let you guys know I haven't actually ridden anything more powerful than 300. A couple of years ago, I, I did ride a ER500, Kawasaki ER500, um, and yeah, well obviously that pulled more, but as much heavier as well, it was like 200 kilos, 205. This is 172. I didn't get the ABS model because I've been riding for a while. I didn't think I needed it. Um, so yeah, I, didn't, I was originally gonna get a white one, but I couldn't really be bothered with waiting like a month. Since I sold my bike pretty much straight away, as you can see in my old videos, all those mods and stuff, so I sold it pretty quick. Um, yeah. Now, as you can see here, actually, these are freaking jokes. So I'm running back home now. Check out this taxi on the right. There's two lanes up here. Look at this motherfucker. It just absolutely cuts me off. Lucky I saw this, and I didn't speed up to cut the left lane like I usually do. But I mean, this just pisses me off. Anyways, I didn't notice this till I saw the video. Uh, here he breaks real hard. But up here, he actually, I was going to go say something, but then I had to keep up going to the light, so I didn't stop. But in this video, you'll see he's actually putting his window down. He's waiting for me to say something to him. And now I'm just regretting it because I was just going to go off with this guy, and he's just fucking useless. People like this is you know, what makes riding so dangerous. And it's always the damn taxi drivers. So here you can see... I stared at him so he knew I was filming him. There, he's pleased. But anyways, fuck it. <laughs> that was a waste of time. 
time anyway. He's, you know, he's still going to drive like that for the rest of his life. So, uh, yeah, what else do I want to tell you guys? So, yeah, I've ordered the Drift HD. That comes, you know, it mounts, I'm going to mount it in the side of my helmet and it comes with uh, the microphone. It records on 80p, the whole lot. I got this pack, so it should come with everything I need, all the mounts. Um, and, yeah, I'm probably going to do a couple videos a week, just different topics. I've got a pretty good one of the, just to show how much of a new people can be. The guy I sold my old bike to. Wow. So, yeah, guys, I mean, that was pretty much it. That's all I wanted to just let you guys know. Um, in case you're wondering uh, where the fuck I've been and what's been, what's been going on with my videos, um, now you know. So, I'm going to try to get serious about this channel. You know? Because I reckon it'd be fun. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just let me know. I mean, comment below, send me an inbox. Uh, anything you want me to record, I can record, uh, you know, separately. Like, for example, I mean, the review of the bike, I'm probably going to do that with my, with my Drift HD device, but just anything, um, obviously, you know, I'll reply to you as quickly as I can. I check pretty much every day, so I'm just going to let the rest of the clip play and, um, get out of here. So, enjoy. Talk to you later.